Sea Games is drawing to a close after two weeks of intense sporting action. So let's join Ahmad Khan in New Clark City right now. Ahmad is at the closing ceremony. Ahmad, tell us, it's just wrapping up. The games are officially closing tonight. What are your thoughts on the rousing of that rousing end to the two weeks of sporting action? Well, I'm at the New Clark City, and behind me is the athletic stadium where the closing ceremony was held. Uh, you know, I've been around this area for the past week, and I must say that the security has tightened up a lot today. Uh, there's a lot more security personnel on the ground, uh, but it hasn't stopped the crowds from coming in droves uh, to the stadium, which has about a 20,000 seating capacity. Uh, now, during the ceremony, uh, during the closing ceremony, the organizing chairman, Mr. Alan Cayetano, spoke about the success of the games uh, and how that this has been the biggest games and how he also said that this game has been the most watched. Now, speaking of watch, the spectators were given an absolute treat. They saw fireworks, uh, they saw the hip-hop group Black Eyed Peas performing live and uh, you know the best part I think was they got to see a glimpse of the athletes uh, one final glimpse of them after what they, they have gone through how they've given their all into what has been an absolutely thrilling games so I'm speaking of the action what were the highlights for you and the star of these games well, uh, there's been a lot of plenty of talking points, uh, especially for Team Singapore. Uh, the softball team is their first ever uh, gold medal that they've won. Uh, underwater hockey, a sport which we've barely heard of before the Games, they bagged all four gold medals on offer uh, the first time that the Games is being shown. And how can we not talk about swimming, how they've matched their best ever uh, medal haul at the Games and their best ever showing in a foreign country with 23 gold medals and it's headlined by Kwa Tung Wen. Uh, he himself won six golds and two silver medals and that has uh, given him the most valuable player award in this Games and he received that award during the closing ceremony. This is a reflection. Um, I came with the goal of trying to qualify for the Olympics, uh, get those eight cuts. So, honestly speaking, getting gold was not, it was a priority, but it was not uh, what I was looking for at these games. So, it was a bonus. And I think that, yeah, it kind of is a testament to how hard I've been training. Um, so, I'm, I'm glad for that. Uh, and yeah, I'm just happy that I, I accomplished what I set out to do. Ahmad, off the field, though, there has been a bit of controversy with anti-corruption officials opening a probe into the organising of the Games. Uh, how has uh, the, sort of the organisation of the Games for you? Well, there, we've heard a lot about the controversy surrounding the Games, uh, from venues not being ready on time to athletes having to wait long hours before they could settle into the accommodation. Uh, all this happened in the early days. Uh, when I arrived and uh, my flight got delayed because of the typhoon, uh, but that's a completely different issue uh, entirely. Uh, but it took us a very long time to get our accreditation sorted out. But I must say that after that, things had been pretty much smooth sailing. Uh, the organization has progressively improved. And uh, most importantly, the excitement and entertainment from the sporting action has made it an absolutely memorable game for me throughout. All right, wonderful. Thanks very much for all your hard work over the last two weeks. Ahmad, look forward to seeing you back here in Singapore. Ahmad Khan there reporting to us live from the closing ceremony of the SEA Games in New Clark City.